Hello and welcome to another NTVNI episode everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Formica fusca species while moving our little colony in their new setup. Right after the intro. Hello and thanks for dropping by once again guys. On Sunday the 5th was my birthday and I couldn't turn down the surprise I got, so I had to take that day off. But we are here now, so let's dive into today's subject, introducing the Serviformica fusca species. I found this queen back in July 2018 and although everything was fine, during hibernation, a mold outbreak took place and two of her three workers died to it. In order to prevent the death of her last worker and the queen herself, we'll perform an emergency move of them and the freshly laid eggs to another new setup. Now, the ones of you who follow me on Instagram will surely recognize this. The end result of our design voting winner, our Utong founding nest, in a vibrant green color. To complement the setup, we're going to attach the nest to a plaster outward, also called arena, that I created. You can find a tutorial on how to build both of these yourself in our channel's build video playlist. I'll link that with a card in the corner for you. Now, while we watch the ants getting moved in their new setup, let's talk about Formica Fusca. Formica, or rather Serviformica Fusca, are also known as black slave ants. This is due to them often being used as a founder colony for socially parasitic ant species like Raptiformica sanguinea, for example. Essentially, this means that the Raptiformica queens sneak into Serviformica nests that are on the early development phase, kill their queen, take her place, and make the workers work for them instead. This is true for many Serviformica species though. Another one being Formica cunicularia, which you also happen to have a colony of. Speaking of which, Queen Elizabeth and her underlings have moved in and are doing very well in their new luxury setup. They already have six large larvae and a bunch of eggs to feed. Traits that Formica fusca share with their sister species are the fast stop and go movement, being polygynous, meaning that the colony can house multiple queens, their size, the queen is 10 to 12 millimeters and workers grow from 4 to 8 millimeters long. They generally avoid fights. They'd rather back up and run for it when meeting another species if it comes to contesting food resources. They build mostly earth nests in sunny spots at the edge of forests. And they never go in hibernation with eggs or larvae. The queens stop producing eggs before the winter comes. Here in Austria, both Serviformica fusca and Cunicularia are native species. So, they go in hibernation period from end of October and become active again, usually by the end of March, when the weather starts becoming friendly again. This is something you should know if you are interested in keeping them as your pets. I always recommend starting 
with the native species. Particularly in the early phase of ant keeping, when you are not yet sure for how long you are going to keep your ants, if at all, keeping a native species bears the innate benefit that you can release them in the wild without causing harm to your local ecosystem. Back to our little colony. It took them a day to move in their new home. Let's hope they love it as much as we love watching them. Ok guys, that is my knowledge and experience with this species so far. If you have any questions or want to add something I might have forgotten, feel free to do so in the comments below. I think there is much to like on Formica species in general and you should definitely give them a try yourself. Please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you like the video, it really helps me out. Also consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already because we have more ant species to introduce and build tutorials for you coming soon. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.